Hello. I'm just going to show you how to disable that backup you always get when you sync your iPod or iPhone, one of the newer versions. So, first off, I'm going to show you how to disable it on a Mac. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your terminal up here. We'll go to Spotlight and type in Terminal. Alright, click on the one that says Terminal. It should be under Applications. Alright, so now it should have the name of your console here. And what you're going to do is type in this code. I'll put it in the info for you in case you can't see it or want to copy and paste it. Alright, so what you're going to type in default space right space com dot apple dot iTunes space device device backups disabled space dash B O O L space true. All right. So now, once you type that all in, just hit enter on the keyboard, and you should see the name of your console again. Um, if you ever want to reverse this, you all you have to do is type that in again, except change the true to false. So, an alternative to doing this is you can actually download an application. Um, if you go to MacUpdate.com and search for backup space disabler it should be the first one on the top of the list backup disabler easily sync iPhone without waiting for backups so what you're gonna do is download this you can read some of the info and it should work pretty well you just have a simple button here that says disable backups or enable them now it's a, another alternative Alright, so now I'm just going to show you how to do it on Windows, but I don't have a Windows, so I'm just going to tell you what you can do if you do have a Windows. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the Window R key, and that should open up the Command Prompt window, or the Run window. And you're going to type in this code here. I'll just put in the side for you, so don't have to explain it. And I'm pretty sure you hit Enter. Um... But make sure when you do this with the terminal and the command prompt um, that you unplug your iPhone and turn off iTunes. And then when you hit enter and it's all done, you reconnect your iPod or iPhone and turn on iTunes. So that's just a simple way of disabling the backup on the iPod or iPhone.